Hello guys, my name is Daniel Weiss and in this video I'm going to break down or the topic about how we use macronutrients, alcohol, fats, proteins, carbohydrates. Basically the concept of metabolism so you understand it and I believe this is very important for you to understand whether you, whatever your goals are in order so you don't fall for fat diets like you know, so you understand ketogenic diet, so you understand paleo, so you understand high protein, high fat, high sugar, and that you don't fall for all these kind of meats. So without further ado, let's start. In 2017, actually there was a study. As you can see, I created this short infographic that is uh, like a pyramid that you can see is a schematic and it speaks about the macronutrient oxidation priority. And as you can see on the top of the pyramid is actually alcohol. Then there is proteins and amino acids, then there are carbohydrates and fats. So what it means is that alcohol is the most easiest and it has the priority to be burned for energy right at the moment or in the moment, while fat Fat is the macronutrient that is the most readily available for fat storage. So what do we mean by that? Alcohol cannot be turned and saved or stored as fat in our body. That is why our body just follows the basic, most simple concept. And that is the concept of the path of the least resistance. Which means I cannot use it. I, can, I mean, I cannot store it. I can only use it right now, so let's use it. So here is the first myth. Can you get fat from alcohol? Alcohol alone. No, even if you are in a caloric surplus, that is like uh, alcohol has about 7.1 uh, calories, actually. And we cannot store it. So even if you ingest like enough alcohol, that would be like 3000 calories and you're general expenditure is 2000 your body will automatically use the processes like non-exercise related activities which you can think about as sweating higher heartbeat you know you move more so you know all these things and activities that are tied to and associated with drinking alcohol you know you, you drink alcohol you go dancing or you vomit or whatever but <laughs> these all things are there to use for the energy you know your body cannot save it so it processes it it uses it as an energy right in the moment however anything that comes with the alcohol is automatically going to be stored as energy so for example when you have a drink or a glass of wine glass of wine is not only pure alcohol, there is also water and uh, some sugars or carbohydrates in form of simple sugars that come from grapes. And these are turned into glucose. And if your glucose storage is full, then they are turned into uh, fatty acids and saved or stored. So there we have alcohol. Next, we have proteins and amino acids. Proteins and amino acids, their primary function is not to be used as energy, but for reparation of the body, you know, processes and building blocks. So this is why it oxidizes or breaks them down into amino acids and uses them for building. And I mean, if we have excess of these, excess energy, we are in a caloric surplus, doesn't matter where this energy comes from, it will be uh, prior prioritized and used as a building blocks and all the excess energy will be used stored as a fat whether it comes from carbohydrates or fats so this is another thing next we have carbohydrates carbohydrates can be or are typically turned into glucose and then stored as a glucose directly in muscle used for energy right away which is also very easy it is the preferred fuel for our bodies to use glucose it's readily available it's very easy efficient for our body to use it it can use it right away there we go 
if we have excess of it, then the body starts thinking, okay, I have the excess, let's use it as an energy. If I cannot use it as an energy for whatever reason, I will store it. So it turns it into triglycerides through the novel lipogenesis and basically stores it as a fat or in adipocytes. So this is when we have carbohydrates. Last but not least, we have fats. And fats are the easiest actually to store because they are already in the form or closest to the form that can be stored in our adipocytes, in our body. And having said that, when, for example, if you ingest only fat, then this fat will be stored and, you know, anything that is in excess. So basically, here is the main point. Anything that is in excess will be stored as energy if it cannot be burned right away. The second point is, it doesn't matter what's your composition of food. If you have, for example, 50% carbs, 20% protein and 30% fat, and you are 500 calories in excess, it doesn't matter what are these percentages, like which 50% whether it's fat, carbs or protein, whatever is in excess will be stored in a fat, but preferably it will be fat, carbohydrates and then proteins. Basically, the storage priority is opposite to the oxidation priority. If I want you to have one thing that comes from this video, that, that you learn from this video actually, is that the body follows the path of the least resistance. And the least resistance is to use for energy alcohol, carbs, and then fats, while proteins is using for another mechanism for uh, building blocks and such. And then the fat storage priority is the exact opposite of fats, carbohydrates, proteins, and then alcohol. Alcohol cannot be stored. So that is how it is. If you have any questions, maybe if I made a mistake and you noticed it, then please pause it down in the comment. Also, if you have anything you would like to add, if you want to, if there is anything you would love to clear up, and definitely I would like to invite you to join my Facebook group with the links down below to the Facebook group. It's a closed group where I post most often than here on YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, and with the, having said that, you have a great day, and see you in the next video or in the Facebook group. Bye.